Hey, Jordan here with Psyonix, and I got the new Nightwave Ultra Low Light Night Vision Camera. Uh, really stoked about this. It's gonna be great for us because we have so many mornings where we're starting way before sunrise or those late nights, kind of that sundowner bite where we're gonna run home at night in just really, really low, you know, sometimes no moonlight, just the starlight. And this thing's gonna be perfect for the way that we use it. And I'm gonna walk through the DIY installation here on my 2015 Everglade Center Console. So the first thing that you're gonna see right on top, it's gonna to come in every single one, is your quick start, your install guide. So we'll be using this to A, make sure we got all our components, as well as go through uh, all the different steps of our installation project. Uh, also, you're gonna have your install template. We'll be using this when we are um, punching out our holes for our through wires and our through bolts. Um, again, the cool thing about this is it comes with a bunch of different mounting applications. Uh, you can do a tripod using a ram mount. Uh, you can mount it underneath with a um, through bolt that's pre-threaded in here. Or for our application here on our boat, we're gonna be using a top-down uh, method as well. So it's cool the template's got us covered for all the different ways that you might be able to mount this. Opening up further, we got really the star of the show, the Nightwave camera, as well as the mounting base. Uh, in here, and that is also going to be pre-wired and kind of uh, got us ready to go on our video in and our power cord as well. Also on your mounting base, uh, you can see there's the gasket here. This one kind of came plugged in already, but make sure you got your gasket. Uh, we got our fuse and our fuse holder, as well as a couple different adapters. Again, this is an analog video plug-in, so that's awesome because it's gonna work with all the different OEMs all the different electronics. So uh, they got you covered kind of just a one and done different connections for your specific application. And we also have a digital uh, to USB cord here as well that comes as part of your package. And last but not least, we got our mounting hardware. Uh, so again, they give you some, uh, some screws in case you're gonna be using it in like a starboard application. Um, or in our case, we're gonna be using some through bolts because we're gonna be going through fiberglass and we have plenty of clearance. We're gonna be able to through bolt this from a top-down application. Okay, so we're up here on our hard top, taking a look at our site selection where we're gonna be mounting our Nightwave camera. We are going to be mounting it top-down through our fiberglass hard top here. Um, and again, specifically, it's gonna be replacing a remote spotlight that we're, that's just a perfect location, perfectly on center and a nice flat surface. Um, the cool thing about the night wave is there is some tilt adjustability, so uh, you do have some play there. But again, you want to really have that on center, flat location for our top down. If you're doing an undermount, a lot of flexibility with how you mount it, so you'll be able to uh, do it for an undermount situation as well. Um, also, I'll be using our install template to measure out and, and draw out our holes where we'll have our mounting hardware. Uh, and then also we have a location for our cable to pull our cables through, which we'll show you from the helm where we're gonna be running our cable uh, into our power source as well as our MFDs. All right, so here we are in the helm looking at um, our location. We got our panels pulled off and I wanna run through where we're going to be running our wires, both our power wire and our video in wire. Uh, in our case, our mounting uh, location is right there in the top of our, our hard top that's going to be able to run our wires through and we're going to be able to plug into our power source right here and then using uh, fish tape to run a chase we're actually going to run our video wire right down through our pillar here on the starboard side and then right into the back of our Furuno MFD for our video in so Again, just take the time to really lay out where you want your wires to go, make sure that you have your power source, make sure you have really easy access to your video in. We're lucking out that this is just gonna be a really nice short run for our power, uh, really easy uh, wire run in our particular DIY installation on this boat. Now we're ready to lay out exactly where we want our mounting hardware to go, as well as our through cable. Um, so again, I started off by removing the camera from the mounting base and I got my install template here. Again, for our application, we're gonna be doing a, tr a top down mount. So I will be using the B location, as you can see marked here in my template, as well as the through cable. So I'll go ahead and punch those out 
make my marks, and then we'll be able to drill through uh, and get our, our mounting location for our mounting base here. So yeah, just making sure that we're on center. We got our alignment where we want it. I'm gonna go ahead and trace out and mark out our drill locations for our through bolts. We got our locations marked out for our mounting hardware. Again, on our boat, we're gonna be using through bolts uh, with our top-down application. So I'm gonna go ahead, picking out the appropriate size drill bit to match uh, our through bolt hardware here. I'm gonna punch in our holes for our locations. One thing too I do wanna note is make sure to take the time to look underneath. You have no obstructions, you don't wanna hit any other wires. Um, you know, just make sure that you have a clean area underneath uh, where you're gonna be drilling your holes. And now we're gonna take our mounting base and just make sure to dry fit and double check all of our locations. Uh, and then we'll pull, again, if we, we already had this because of our spotlight, um, but we would punch out our, our through cable area as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and start running our wire. So now we're gonna start snaking our power wire and our video wire uh, through our cable hole here as well. Again, because of the area that we have to work with, we'll be able to attach our fish tape for our chase down here. But if you didn't have that, make sure to attach your chase now before you start snaking uh, your wire into the location. So I took the time beforehand to really un, uh, unwrap the wire and get the memory out of it. That way we got a nice, long, uh, smooth wire to work with and we'll just keep feeding it through. And we got our mounting base ready to go. I made sure to remove the retainer clip that holds the wire. That way, when it comes time to really fully mount this, we can make sure that we have the appropriate service loop. But when you're snaking the wire through, it's really nice to kind of have, uh, just pull that clip real quick and be able to have the flexibility to get it exactly how you need it for uh, your install. So we got this lining up nicely, and now we'll go back underneath and we'll start to run our wires, tap into our power as well as into our video source. So now we're gonna prep our wire here to fit into our connector. And then ultimately what we'll do is we'll make sure that we come back and we heat shrink all this as well. So, and we are looking pretty good to start feeding this through. So we will jump back up top here. We got our chase and our fish tape all ready to roll and start feeding it down. Our wires pulled through. We were able to get it through our pillar, no problem. A really easy process with that. We got our chase line detached and cleared out now. And we're ready to plug into our power source up here. So. First things first, make sure that your fuse is out at this time. We'll come back and we'll, um, we'll put that back in at the very end. So we have our positive terminal connection and an open spot up here, as well as our ground terminal connection that will secure right next to that. And then we'll be able to use one of our Psionics provided adapters and plug into our manufacturer uh, analog video in connection here. We got our video adapters here. We're going to go ahead and screw our adapter into our video wire and then put our analog video adapter. Quick connection there, quick and easy. We have our Furuno uh, video in. This one, we got two different video in connections. I'm just gonna go with video in on this side. Connect that together get all this back and tidied up in here, and then we'll be able to test this thing out. So now we got our power in our video wired all the way snaked through, and we got our mounting plate down with our through bolts uh, just hand tightened right now. So now what I wanna do is go back and tighten this down. Again, be careful not to over tighten, of course, but you wanna have a nice, good, solid seal on the gasket underneath, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start that now. One of the last things that we need to do is measure out and ensure that our wire that connects into our camera here is the proper amount of length in this and then we'll refasten the retaining clip. And what you wanna do is just kind of dry fit it, right? Before we get into this, do a quick connect here, get our grommet back in there. And what we're trying to do is make sure that we have the right service loop. So you wanna have the right amount of wire in there. You don't wanna have too little where it's pulling tension and, and not able to fasten down, but you don't wanna have too much where you're gonna potentially kink or, or hit that wire when you secure our camera in. So 
boom, it looks like we're good. Now, the final step will just be come back. Uh, in the back side of this, there's a, a secure fastener to hold this in. That way, we're fully locked in. Um, really going to maximize that IPX67 waterproof rating as well, the way that this is set up. So, we should be good to go top side, and we'll go check it out. So, one of the last things we need to do is adjust the tilt. I also wanted to quickly check for the power and make sure that we got our video in. So fired up the Furno screen here that we're plugged into. Go to our camera. We're plugged into video connection one and there we go. So we got feed. Um, again, we're gonna have to go back up top and adjust the tilt and just get it dialed in. We're pretty close the way it is, but got a really nice 44 degree wide angle view, which is awesome. Um, and there's just a really simple, easy way to manually adjust the tilt. We'll get that locked in. We'll get this dialed in, but this is uh, this is coming together nicely. So we'll just get there, just uh, our tilt adjusted, and we should be good to go. So we'll back up top. Back up top again, and the last thing that we need to do is quickly adjust the tilt just to make sure that we're totally dialed in. We fired it up down there, and we are catching just the edge of our hard top here. So to adjust it on the back of the camera, here is this little rubber grommet that reveals an Allen bolt. They provide a really easy, nice Allen key. We'll loosen this up a little bit here. And now we can come back here and just fine tune and really get our, our tilt adjusted and dialed in perfectly for our application here. So we didn't need much, so I just tilted it back a couple degrees. I will re-secure this and then jump down double check our work and make sure that it, our tilt is adjusted how we want it. Um, and then the final thing that we'll do is real quick, jump up here, fasten our camera into our mounting base with our Allen key back here. And we should be good to go. We're getting to the end and this thing is looking sweet. So really, really excited. And that was that easy. Again, we were out here just for the day and we got everything plugged in. We got everything mounted. We got it, uh, the video fed into our Furuno here and again, easy access. So I'm really excited to get this uh, out at night. And again, on those long runs and those long days where we're coming in at night, this thing is going to be absolutely clutch. So um, really, really easy process and awesome DIY, excited to get used to it.